Ok. Hi. Hello, everybody. I'm very happy to be with you this morning and share with you a beautiful adventure we to do. So my name is Alexandre Elson, and I'm working and co-managing the Maison d'Andois. Maison d'Andois is a very old house. It started in 1829, so one year older than Belgium. And we had specialists of the speculos. So my presentation will be, will, will be divided in, in a small presentation of the house, how we implemented Odoo, which apps we use and how we customize them, and a small conclusion. So who we are. For some of you who don't know the Maison d'Endroit, we are the specialists of the speculoos. We produce speculoos from that size until that size for Sinterklaas. We have Belgian brands, as Odoo is this. We just are a little bit older than Odoo. Huh? 119 years old this year. We're still a family business. I'm part of the, the family. I'm actually the seventh generation. And we still produce uh, beautiful products and crafted products in a small atelier in Brussels. And our challenge, when I arrived six years ago at Maison d'Endroit, was to put the house in the 21st century. And we succeeded first with a new rebranding. Uh, uh, it's quite complex when you can imagine that we come from a small house behind the Grand Place in Brussels. Sounds familiar. Everything starts downtown in Brussels, uh, almost 200 years ago. And today, you have to imagine that we still work like 200 years ago. We still produce the big uh, speculoos uh, in the mold of wood uh, by hand. Uh, we have big range of all different cookies, and everything is produced in Brussels. So Maison d'Endroit, one of the specificity is that we sell our cookies like a bit like the chocolate. We have our own shop, so we have to manage retail. We have also to manage a distri distribution of uh, wholesaler. We do a lot of also corporate gift at the end of the year. And we have now a niche shop. But when I arrived at Maison d'Endroit, I discovered the facts. I really didn't know what was the facts about, just heard about it, but never use it. But you know, a fact is very practical. You can just send the order from the shop and you receive or not. That was the problem. Uh, we ran, ran off a stock. We had a beautiful accounting program where i never been there because it's impossible to get data. And because we grow years after year, it was become difficult to have a clear view of the business. Yes, we had, we had the big picture of the business. We knew that we, had, we, we were profitable, but with now the accumulation of shops, uh, different channels, we didn't know uh, exactly where we were. No reporting, we, we start to have out of stock problem because uh, for, to give you an example, the, the, way, the warehouse of the packaging it was managed by Heiss, so we had to remember that we need, need to make a walk around the, way, the warehouse and reorder that kind of packaging three months before. So you can imagine that was not impossible anymore with the size of the company. We are now approximately 100 people in Brussels. So three, four years ago, I was thinking about how we can and what can we implement. And we chose Odoo for the quality price and all the apps that we can have uh, for an industry like us and of the size of us. This possibility of customization, these open uh, values that uh, Odoo, we share with Odoo. Um, and uh, it's also a Belgian brand. We, we uh, have a lot of intention, a care of intention that that. Uh, and the fact that it was cloud, mobile, multilinguages was all elements that uh, why we chose Odoo at that time. 
And also, we, tr we decided to do it with a, a partner, a great partner, Nibu, uh, because we had just a small team in the management of Maison d'Endroit. We were on, on the f uh, only five at that time, and it was not possible for us to manage a big project of that size. Imagine, we, we just have a, a, an accounting program in the house. So the implementation of our journey was divided in three main parts. Start in uh, 2017 with the easy part, the accounting part in V10. It was quite difficult at the beginning. The CRM, the sales, and the shop. Then we go through the big one next year um, with the manufacturing. You have to imagine that all the different process, artisanal process, have to be implemented in the Odoo. It was an, a big, big, big challenge with people that can work, that can work in the uh, for Maison d'Endroit since 14 years sometimes. It's very, uh, a, 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 it was very uh, a big challenge for us. And then, based on the two years of experience, we implemented all what we learned in our shops. Uh, this year, and actually we finished it a few months ago, uh, the whole cycle in, uh, in, uh, in the Maison d'Endroit. So, and now I think that the, 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 the next challenge when I, well, uh, is to migrate everything in V13 with all the key features I, can sh uh, I, show, uh, I saw yesterday. So, what are the apps we use and how we use it at Maison d'Endroit? So at Maison d'Endroit, we produce beautiful cookies, beautiful and unique cookies, and for that, we needed an, uh, a unique program to help us to, to create them. So now, every, that we have a, uh, um, a traceability all around the house. So that means that every product that goes in and goes out is traceable, thanks to Odoo. Uh, it's a huge challenge. It was a huge challenge. Uh, for that, we automated a lot of uh, low generation. We uh, integrate bartender integration uh, to create the label around different sites. We implement reordering rules on products, the scheduler as well. Uh, we, we do it in every shop, because every shop also packing uh, the, the, the beautiful boxes that we sell in each shop. That means they assemble a final product in each uh, shop. They can now not use the facts anymore. They can just make an internal transfer thanks to Odoo and see directly in the stocks of Maison d'Endroit what we have in stock or not and what will be available. And we have now as well, as well uh, clear data of what we produce. What, two years ago, I was unable to answer that question, how many cookies do you produce per year? It was impossible. For the eShop, we chose to make, it, to make a connection with another CMS because our brand agency, uh, working with another one, were more, were more, prof more powerful, and we make a link between uh, the both platform, it just, and it works well now. We have the portal integrated uh, with the CMS. Every order goes directly to Odoo and arrived in the, in the packing, in the picking part of, uh, in the inventory. We have also the BPOS and DHL integration, and it's just beautiful when, it's, when it works perfectly. So for us, the main part, the most important part, is the retail and the post in the retail. And that, that, that's also one of the key features why we choose Odoo, because every post is integrated directly to the, to the accounting. And for us, it's a, a lot of time that we win to not uh, re every uh, every day the sales of each shop. So that was a big step. Uh, that was a big step that we succeeded with uh, our partner Nibu and our pop up. And they create beautiful uh, iPad uh, posts 
the, uh, with Wi-Fi, directly synchronized with the scale, synchronized with ADN now, uh, where you can just have to put the, the choose your products, and you have now directly an invoice, directly everything synchronized with the, 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 um, the accounting. Now, the next challenge for that is synchronize all the devices together. We have also shops where we have restaurants, with multiple floor, where we want to be able to see uh, in, in directly synchronize the device. Uh, also have the black box, something that is required by the government here in Belgium. Also the kitchen management. And the final part was because in G10, the reporting and uh, all the data was not so easy to find in the Odoo. We, uh, we tried, we worked with Emasphere, to make a, a connection between Odoo and Emasphere to have a clear view on all the numbers, on all the data that we have in Odoo. It means that we have now an ac uh, analytic accounting in Odoo, so every line of every sales, everything that we buy have an analytic account, and everything goes directly uh, in Emasphere, and we have beautiful reports that normally I was making during summer, six months after the, the sales to make a clear view of the profitability of the Dondois. Now, in one click, I have all the data uh, beautifully presented it, uh, in, uh, in the accounting part. So, in the conclusion, as it was a big challenge, it was long, we always underestimated the time it takes uh, in, inside the house, uh, we, we work in agile mode. We didn't really have a clear view of where we, we were going at that time. But it just works. Uh, accounting in V10 is still a nightmare, but in V13 I saw it's just, wow. We were just, that's something that the accountant uh, at Maison d'Andois saw the keynote. They say, okay, now we have to move <laughs> directly in V13 because uh, in V10 was, it, it was complicated. But now we are fully integrated at, at 30, 60 degrees. It means that we are fully dependent of Odoo. Uh, so guys, I hope that you, you're going to survive for the next 100 years because we have a long-term strategy and vision and um, <laughs> across the field like Odoo as well because now we are totally dependent of Odoo and internet. So when we have a, a, a small uh, copy of internet, it can pose a problem. So uh, it was very uh, uh, beautiful experience to Adrian, and every day we enjoy to use Odoo and uh, across the finger to, to go directly in the V13 as quickly as possible. Thank you very much.